everyone welcome back today we are going to see rotation and revolution chapter geography of class 6 cbsc rotation and revolution what is rotation the movement of the earth on its own axis so the earth rotates on its own axis in the rotation process so the earth axis is not straight it is tilted how many degrees is it tilted it is tilted at 23.5 degrees how many degrees 23.5 degree and the earth is tilted at 66 and a half degrees with respect to the orbital plane so what is the orbital plane so you can see that this is the earth's orbit this is the earth's orbit and the straight line over here that is called the orbital plane so it is tilted at 66 and a half degrees with respect to the orbital plane then the earth rotates from west to east from west to east so Mm. So it travels from west to east. then so the earth rotates from west to east and the rotation causes the day and night so this is the earth and we have a straight line we have a straight line that divides the earth into two and this is the sun so the sun's rays fall on the earth sun's rays fall on the earth and this part before the line has day time and the part after the line has night so the part facing the sun has day and the part uh, that is not facing to the sun has night time so then so
so this causes day and night this line it is not a line the earth is spherical so when the sun's rays fall it will be more uh, it will have rays of the sun hitting it so this line that separates the day from the night is called the circle of illumination it is called the circle of illumination so the reference straight line and the earth's axis at 23.5 degrees the orbital plane and the 66 and 1/2 degrees which is the angle formed by the earth's axis uh, earth's tilted axis and the orbital plane then the next topic is revolution what is revolution the movement of the earth around the sun on its elliptical orbit is called revolution so what is this elliptical orbit so elliptical orbit mm this is the shape of ellipse so you see it is like um oval so you can infer that ellipse is also an oval so you can say that the earth uh, uh, revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit that is also an oval shaped orbit then the earth revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit elliptical orbit means oval shaped orbit then this um this revolution causes the unequal lengths of day and night and also the seasons so what are the unequal lengths of day and night have in uh, have uh, do they have any directly relation do they have any relation with the seasons they have direct unequal lengths of day and night are directly um, related to the seasons so you can see here that the earth is having an equal length of day and night in uh, one part it is like one position it is like the northern hemisphere is having very little sunlight and the southern hemisphere is having more sunlight while in the next you are able to see that it is almost equally distributed and in the next you are seeing that the northern hemisphere is getting more sunlight than the southern hemisphere and then in the fourth one you are seeing the equal uh, equal distribution of sunlight again so so the tilt of the earth's axis makes it hard to identify the part of the earth that is tilted towards the sun in an year so as the earth is tilted you can't infer where it is tilted to is it tilted towards the sun or is it tilted away from the sun 
So in the first point, you can see that it is tilted towards the sun. And in the second point, you can see that it is uh, in the midway point. It's not tilted away or it's not tilted towards the sun. And in the third position, you can see that uh, it is tilted away from the sun. And in the fourth position, same like the second position, um, it is in the midway point. So that is what this sentence says. The tilt of the Earth's axis makes it hard to identify the part of the Earth that is tilted towards the sun in an year. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please like and share. Subscribe for more videos. Please click the bell icon for the latest videos notification.